Welcome, welcome viewers to the Clean Bowl Cricket Channel, where we aim to discuss everything West Indies cricket, past, current, and future. A very special welcome to any new viewers to the channel, as well as to our loyal returning fans. Now, fans, in this episode, the Clean Bowl Channel would like to take a somber look at a recent event that concerns the passing of an outstanding West Indies cricketer, specifically Irvin Schillingford, who hailed out of the country of Dominica, who represented the Windward Islands as well as the West Indies. Irvin Schillingford passed away last Thursday at the age of 78. The Clean Bowl Channel would like to share with you a couple of tributes that pay homage to this outstanding West Indies, Windward Islands, and Dominican batsman who plied his trade in the 1970s and served regional cricket as an excellent and honorable servant. Now, folks, one source of this tribute comes from the West Indies cricket site, which presented to us in the past couple of days the West Indies Championship. On the opening day of the first match between Trinidad and the Windward Islands, I saw a hot moving tribute and well-deserved honoring of Irvin Schillingford. And I would like to share with our fans. Also, I would like to quote a posting that was made on the Dominican News Online repository, a leading repository of news for the island of Dominica and its natives. Now, folks, we will first share with you the moving tribute which the West Indies Cricket Board and West Indies Cricket at large put together for this little master, or as many saw him as this giant batsman who served West Indies cricket and served West Indies cricket with honor. Please take a listen. 48 championships and you're looking at some beautiful pictures which really tells you that it is fine weather today here in Grenada. The are three square miles island with lots of history and the players are on the field as you can see they're getting ready for a moment of silence to remember the former Dominican Windward Islands, Combine Islands and Western East batsman Orvin Schillingford who passed away last Thursday at the age of 78, Schillingford was born in Dominica in 1944 and made his first class debut at the age of 16, but had to wait another five years before playing his second match against Australia in 1965. Both teams on the pitch that will be used today, along with the match officials, to observe a moment of silence for the right-handed batsman Schillingford, who was a prolific batsman for the, Win for the Windward Islands and Combined Islands throughout the 1960s and 70s. He was 32 years old when he played his first test against Pakistan at the Queen's Park Oval in Trinidad Tobago in 1977. He scored 39 and 2 in that test, but followed up with 120 in the following test at Border in Guyana. He was not selected for the first two tests against Australia the following year, but was recalled for the third test at Border after the Packer players withdrew from the match. He only played four tests, scored 218 runs, including a century at 31.14 runs per innings, accumulated 5,449 5, runs, including 11 centuries, 92 first-class matches between 1961 and 1962. After his career ended, Schillingford had several roles in regional cricket, including manager, coach of the West Indies 19 team, selector and coach of the Windward Island side, and made a major contribution to the development of the game at all levels in his native Dominica, where a stand 
at Windsor Park is named in his honor. So it's very fitting to see that the players observing a moment of silence for a great man. May his soul rest in peace and rise in glory. Welcome to day one. Now fans, we just heard a very glowing and honorable tribute to Irvin Schlingford, which was presented by the West Indies Cricket Board prior to the start of the four-day match between Trinidad and Tobago and the Windward Islands. As promised, we would like to share another tribute to Irvin Schillingford. This time, it was presented by none other than sports commentator and former national Dominican cricketer, Ossie Lewis. Mr. Lewis, in his statement to the Dominica News Online repository, stated that Irvin Schillingford was arguably the best batsman ever produced by the Windward Islands, not just Dominica. And he was also one of the best batsmen from the West Indies. Mr. Lewis noted also that he and Irvin Schillingford went to school about the same time and Irvin played in the Windward Islands inter-school tournaments in Grenada at the age of 15 where he represented the Dominica Grammar School. Mr. Lewis added that the Dominican and regional cricketer was also a selector on the West Indies board and a coach as well as a manager of the Dominican cricket team. Lewis is of the view that being from Dominica, Mr. Schillingford was the victim of insularity in the selection of West Indies teams in the 1970s, where the preference at that time was given to the players from the big islands like Jamaica, Trinidad, Barbados, and Guyana, which were termed the Big Four. This meant that cricketers from the smaller islands had to be exceptional to make the West Indies team. In sum, Mr. Lewis stated that had Irvin Schillingford been alive today, with the standard today within cricket, he could easily have played numerous test matches. He was one of the best produced by the West Indies, and injustice was done to him. He deserved to have been selected for many more matches. But in the continuing vein of honoring Mr. Schillingford, Mr. Lewis stated that Schillingford was an icon and great cricketing hero who left a great legacy to sportsmen who came after him, while adding that as long as cricket is played in Dominica, Mr. Schillingford's name will be remembered as an outstanding batsman. In the meantime, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt of Dominica expressed his deep sadness out in learning of the passing of Irvin Schillingford and committed to ensuring that a state funeral will be held for this cricketing icon and sports hero of Dominica.